so we're back at the 79 Fairmont Futura. It's got a 302, and I think it's what is an S rod, four speed, or three speed with overdrive, sunroof. So we're going to try to jack this thing up. They said they would lift it up and put it up on a stand for me, but I don't know. I'm just going to see what I can do here. All right, so I managed to find six spare tires for jack stands. Got it jacked up a little bit. I'm going to try to set you up here so you can watch what I'm doing. Maybe watch me get squished by a Futura. Alright. So. Junkyard tip number one. You find these jacks with the goofy single hole end. You find yourself a socket that will still fit on there. This one's 15 sixteenths. And you give it a whirl. Look it up to your awesome Milwaukee. Super sketchy. This Harbor Freight Jack has seen its last days, too. Not very high. Gotta figure out how to get it higher. Okay, junkyard perk. Well, this is something you don't want to do at home.
Oh, we got a check valve in this jack. I don't know. We might just leave it here. Super sketchy. So this is what we got. Two tires, brake rotor, two tires, and a brake drum. I think we wrecked that scissors jack. So now let's try to get the back end up. Check out that. Nice. Pretty rotten. Huh. I wonder if that manifold would work on a Pinto. Probably not. All right, so we got her up on four corners. It's nice and stable. Let's see what it looks like underneath. All right, so it definitely looks like an S-Rod. Aluminum case, drive shaft. Has the forklift dent in it. That's why I think finding me a drive shaft in the junkyard is futile. <sighs> now the real work begins. Suppose get the bell housing undone. I forgot about exhaust pipes. I wonder if that looks rusty enough to just pry down. Whew. It's getting hot. Right. Welcome to my little home under the Futura. When you're doing bell housing bolts, extensions are your friend. And this puppy. That thing saves my life. Best money ever spent. So, I got those out. I have to get out these bolts. I suppose the starter. I got this clutch cable freed up from this end. I don't, I can't see what's going on on the other end. I'm sure we'll have to deal with that. And then the motor mount or the transmission mount cross member. Hopefully that's not a big deal. Cause we're already gonna have to reef it over that exhaust pipe. That'll be great. Maybe them bolts will come out. We got the old Milwaukee. We'll see. Hey, 
right, so Milwaukee was able to get them exhaust bolts out nice and I shouldn't say easy. One of them was fighting me. 